excited to say that the raids on the transit budget must stop. Yeah. Yes, yes. The state must stop treating transit funds as its own personal piggy bank and protect the transit money that keeps our region's economy humming and keeps jobs in place. For a number of years, uh, the state has been sweeping dedicated funds, uh, dedicated revenues, tax revenues, uh, uh, for the MTA in order to balance the budget. Uh, we did $200 million this year. We had a, we had a $10 billion de deficit, yes. But now the time has come for mass transit to be part of the family of the state of New York. And so, in addition to my, uh, Senator Golden, uh, I am sponsoring legislation that would prohibit the division of the budget from sweeping any funds and require legislative approval for any sweep of dedicated funds, and in addition, uh, require a uh, diversion impact statement so that there would have to be a process, a public process, before any sweep could take place and would enable the general public to become aware that uh, there is a uh, hit, a, 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 an assault on mass transit, and enable uh, people like yourselves, uh, mass transit advocates, uh, people who are concerned about the reliability of the system and the foundation for our economy from getting any kind of an injury and uh, creating further problems in terms of service cuts, uh, fair hikes and other things that are, have such a negative impact on the people of the city and state of New York. Now, we're looking at services that were cut in Jim Brand's area, in my area, and in other elected officials across this great city. And you take a look at the impact of those services. They took a complete line out of me, B37 and 3rd Avenue line that runs the entire depth of 3rd Avenue. They took out an overnight bus. A bus, they stopped it at 12 o'clock at night going into Garrison Beach. You have to walk out of Garrison Beach. A mile and a half walk. Two muggings in the last six weeks. People trying to go to work that would have had a bus that could have got out of that Garrison Beach safely and were mugged because we don't have transportation in that area. This could have been averted. Those cuts did not have to happen. That $260 million should have stayed with the MTA. And here we are, thank you. And here we are talking about layoffs and more cuts and possible fare increases because we have to come up with a capital program of 10 to $14 billion starting on 1-1-2012. We need to be able to come up with that funding, which is going to be obviously a hard job for us to find that billion plus to be able to bond that out to get that capital money. But let's go back to the operating fund. They should not be sweeping operating funds from the MTA. $260 million, they have swept over $3 billion over the past number of years from a host of accounts from across the city and state that are dedicated, these are taxes and fees that were dedicated and are being swept into the general fund. If it was dedicated for a use, and that use is no longer in function, then by all means you should sweep it. But if that money was put out there, we're paying taxes and fees, and it's dedicated to a resource in our city, and it's not going to that resource, it should be given back to the taxpayer, not being swept into the uh, general accounts. That money should have stayed right here in the MTA account. We should have avoided those layoffs. We're gonna have to avoid those layoffs, and we should avoid those cuts that we've taken, and cuts that they're looking to give us in the future. Very simple bill. Not a difficult bill at all. Lock box that keeps the money here in the MTA. People say lock boxes when you open them up, there's nothing in them. I'm telling you right now, we're gonna make sure with this bill that myself and Jim Brennan are doing, that that money stays in that lock box and it goes back to the MTA uses, that we can have better services for the people across this great city, that they can have a quality service here in this city, and that we have an operating system that's equal to none, not just in this country, but in the world.